So you may wonder when you're looking at advertisements, when you're just browsing the news or what have you online, how did they know that I would like those shoes or that kind of art or that kind of gum? Well, targeted advertising based on tracking you and selling your information to these companies. Well, one company seeks to stop this. This is nothing new, obviously, but this guy might actually have a chance. A former Google engineer has started Disconnect. It actually began two years ago, and it's a plugin for Chrome or Firefox that currently blocks more than 2,000 different companies that track online in order to sell ads. I mean, great idea. Yeah. I don't know how well it's going to work. Yeah. I mean, I have ad block stuff set up now, and I know that's different. You know. <laughs> But somehow ads still find a way around. I have of stuff course. that you know is supposed to not let websites you know look into my cash and my cookies and whatnot, and they still get around that sometimes. Well, this is cool because it's from someone who's kind of maybe has an inside view on the inner workings. He worked for Google. I'm sure he knows all about ads. And he worked in Google advertising, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Where he worked at Google, an online advertising pioneer. Not that he worked for Google advertising. But. So to make the software more appealing even, Disconnect has a pay what you want kind of deal, the same way that we saw with Humble Bundle. You could choose to pay whatever you feel like, and you could even choose to disperse to a charity, which makes this all the more cool That's or appealing. That's my favorite new trend. Yeah. As musicians are doing it for their albums, filmmakers are doing it for their movies, obviously software and stuff, is the pay what you want and tell us where you want the money to go. Because more often than not, when given the choice, people will pay full price or more when they know it goes directly to the creator of the app or the album or the movie or whatever. I think people really appreciate the, um, the honesty, lack of greed. Transparency. The on yes, the honesty, the transparency that we don't always see in, in bigger companies, uh, Google. <laughs> who, uh, and this is what makes people like it so much because you understand that this isn't all based on greed. This isn't all based on... Um, you know, the basis of adverti targeted advertising. Money, 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 money. So this is really cool. I'm going to go install it and see how it works. I mean, yeah, for pay what you want, it's a no-brainer. Why the hell not? I, I hope it works the mm -hmm. way it says it does. I hope it gets constantly updated because it's a list of 2,000 websites. And although that's a lot, you know, it's not all of them. So It's a good let's, chunk. Let's, well, <laughs> compared to the whole internet, 2,000 is not. Think of how many... Well, yeah, that's true. But how many sites do you generally go to every day? It's not... Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they have the internet on computers now.